Namaste friends, welcome to Art and Tarot. In this video, I am going to talk about a series which came on HBO in the year 2003 and the name of the series is The Carnival. This has two seasons. Set in the year 1934, this story is about a battle between the good and the evil, the heaven and the hell. In desperate times, the good Lord looks over the flock and chooses one man to inspire the multitudes, one man to accomplish the impossible. And who are we to judge the wisdom of the Almighty? A fight between a poor dirt farmer and a charismatic priest, both possessing extraordinary powers, which they are not even aware of, and at the same time they have no control of also. One is the creation of light and the other is the creation of darkness. I'll read your cards. It's a magician reversed. You have a great talent of ability. It's been wasted, unfulfilled, a gift you've hidden from others. Ben, what are you hiding? The show has many interesting characters and many good actors too. Like a blind clairvoyant, a tarot card reader, with a telepathic mother, the twins, a bearded lady, a tattooed monkey man with a tail, they're all in this carnival. This is kind of a rare TV series which you get to see. It's dark, it's gritty and disturbingly inventive. The show follows these two main characters. One, a poor man Hawkins who travels for this carnival and the other man, a priest, a preacher known as Brother Justin. Both men have mysterious powers and they are somehow linked with each other knowingly or unknowingly and at the same time these two are also linked with this man known as Scudder. Young Hawkins is picked up by the carnival as an extra hand and while he was traveling with the carnival he starts realizing his dreams and powers what he possess and how he can use it for the good and for the benefit for the people and meanwhile this preacher the brother Justin, he also in the meantime starts realizing the powers he has which are dark and destructive. How long you been like that? Forever. Pray with me sister, pray. <laughs> you got the gift. The show's strength is in the presentation and the scenes which are created in a very powerful way which will hook the audience to their screens. Overall this is a fantastic TV series. Hope they would have made the third season also which they didn't. As far as we see the show will intrigue you and open your mind for mysteries. The good and the evil are both inside of us. It depends on you. Who do you want to bring out? So I would like to end my review with this beautiful story which I came across. This story is about a painter who wanted to paint the most beautiful man, the most godly man among human beings. So he was searching for this man and one day he found a shepherd in the mountains and his face when he saw was the most beautiful and the godly he has ever seen. So he painted that man and the time passed. 20 years passed and after 20 years this man decided to paint the most evil and the most devilish man among human beings. So he started looking for him. Looking for him at all the places where he could find him. And finally he found a prisoner in the jail who has committed several crimes and who was about to be hanged in few days. When he saw this man 
you saw he's the most devilish man he has ever seen the most ugliest face so he decided to paint him and as he was about to finish his painting the prisoner started crying the painter asked what happened did i hurt you in any way the prisoner said all this while i was trying to hide from you you don't remember me you have painted me 20 years ago as the most beautiful man now you're painting me as the most devilish man so both of them the good and the evil they're all inside of you depends on you who you want to bring out carnival is a very interesting series if you happen to get a chance to watch it do watch it so that the spiritual rating for this show carnival is 8.0 do give us your comments and suggestions hope you like this video see you in my next one namaste